Hi. Now we've got to show that sine 3 theta is identical to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. And this is quite a common question. You can expect to get this quite often. And if it's not this one, it can often be cosine 3 theta. So do try and memorize or well, understand how we basically go about this. Now being an identity, I would always recommend that you write proof and you can either write LHS, short for left hand side, or you can just copy down the left hand side, which is what I prefer to do. And that's going to be sine 3 theta in this particular case. And we're told that sine 3 theta is the same as sine of 2 theta plus theta. So we'd kick off with that. Now to expand this, the sine of 2 theta plus theta, we think of this as the sine of a plus b, an identity that you should be familiar with. You'll find it in most formula books. It's the same as sine of a times the cosine of b plus the sine of b times the cosine of a. You might even find your formula book prints this out as cos a sine b, but obviously it makes no difference. It's still the same value. And so we use this identity here. We let the a be the 2 theta and the b, that corresponds to the theta. So if we use that identity then, we can say that this is identical to sine a cos b. So that's going to be the sine of 2 theta times the cos of theta. And then we've got plus sine b cos a. So that's plus sine of b, b being the theta. And then we've got times the cos of a, cos of 2 theta. OK, well that's the first part. Now we've got to try and work our way towards getting this in terms of sine theta. And the first thing I notice is we've got sine 2 theta here, not anything in terms of sine of theta. So how do I cope with sine 2 theta? Well again you should be familiar with another identity that is sine 2a. It's where we take this identity and let any b be another a. So you have a plus a sine 2a in other words. And then that's going to be equal to or identical to sine a cos a plus sine a cos a. In other words, two lots of sine a cos a. So you should be familiar with that identity and we can use it here. Wherever we see an a, it is now theta. So what we've got is that this is identical to 2 sine theta cos theta, that's sine 2 theta then, and then all of that is multiplied by that cos theta there. Okay, so that's the first term looked at. Now we go on to this second term. We've got sine theta here, that's okay. We need sine thetas, so we'll keep that in. But we've got cos 2 theta. So we've got to work on cos 2 theta now. And you should be familiar with another identity, cos 2a. There's three versions for cos 2a. And the one that we'll be interested in is the one that goes 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And again, if you're not familiar with this, just go on my website and you'll sh show or you'll, you'll see uh, under trig identities a list of identities for cos 2a. Okay? And uh, you'll notice that this is one of them. So the a corresponds to the theta here and so we're going to have 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So all we need to do is pop that in in here as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. What we do next is we clean up this first term and that would be just to times all of 2 sine theta cos theta with cos theta and that's going to give us 2 sine theta times cos squared theta. So put that in there and we need to expand this bracket. We've got a couple of terms in the bracket here. So we get sine theta times the 1 which is just sine theta 
and then sine theta times minus 2 sine squared theta is going to be minus 2 sine cubed theta. So it's looking quite good, it's coming close to this, only we've got cos squared theta here. And again, you should be familiar with your identities. You should know another one, let's just write it over here, and that is that sine squared of any angle, let's say theta then, plus cos squared of any angle, well, it's got to be the same angle as this, always comes to 1. And if I was to rearrange this identity for cos squared theta, you can see that cos squared theta should be identical to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we use that here, and we have 2 sine theta then, and instead of cos squared theta, we write 1 minus sine squared theta, it's quite lengthy this uh, question. No. And then we've got plus sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. And if we expand out this bracket here, we've got 2 sine theta times the 1, gives us 2 sine theta. 2 sine theta times the minus sine squared theta becomes minus 2 sine cubed theta. Then we have these two terms on the end, which we'll just copy in sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. And all we need to do now is just group this up. We have 2 sine theta plus this sine theta, which is 3 sine theta. And then we have minus 2 sine cubed theta minus that 2 sine cubed theta gives us minus 4 sine cubed theta. And there you have it. Okay? Proved.